Hi there everyone, I'm Sharon Sims from Podcasting Hub Australia and welcome back to another episode of On the Couch with Sharon. So come sit with me. Today we're going to be talking about now that you've decided that you want to start a podcast, what do you do next? So the first thing to do is to determine why you want to start the podcast. Do you want to make some money? Are you hoping to educate and inform people? Is it just to have a little bit of fun? Do you want to entertain? Are you an entertainer or a comedian? Do you want to share your work with other people? So that's really the first thing that you need to do, determine why you want to start the podcast. The next thing that you need to do is start planning. You need to think about the name, you need to think about the tagline, you need to think about the target audience. So who is it that you want to reach? So like I said, maybe you're an entertainer and you want to reach people within a particular industry, within the entertainment field. Um, you may be a doctor, you may be a naturopath, somebody like that, and you want to reach those people. So that's the sort of thing that you need to think about. You need to think about the name, you need to think about who you want to reach, you need to think about how often do you want to send your podcast out? What frequency is it? Do you want to record and send out daily? Do you want to do a weekly or a monthly? So you need to think about things like that in the planning stages. You need to think about potentially how long you want your podcast to run. Now this isn't really a hard and fast rule. Remember I said in one of my earlier videos that it's a less rigid medium than um, television or radio. So the length of the podcast isn't absolutely necessary but it's good to have a bit of an idea about how long you want that to be. Also in the planning phase, you need to think about, are you going to be the only speaker on the podcast? Do you want somebody else to host it for you? Do you want to invite guests on? You need to think about those things as well. You need to think about the cover art. You need to think about the content. You need to think about um, how you're going to book people in. You need to think about where you're going to be hosting your podcast. So that all comes in the planning phase of uh, what to do next, once you've decided you want to start your own podcast. You need to think, as I said earlier, who your target audience is and what is your objective? What do you want your end goal to be? Is it purely for entertainment? Is it purely to make money? So think about those things and that will make it easier in creating the content. Uh, you need to think about your equipment. What kind of equipment do you want? Remember I said earlier, you can start a podcast with a phone and or a laptop. You might decide though that you want to be a bit more professional and go and buy some equipment. You then need to think about the location. Where will you be recording your podcasts? Do you want it um, in a particular studio? You may need to think about hiring. Have you got a great setup at home? Do you want to go out and record your podcasts on location? Um, you then need to get about uh, recording. That's the fun part. You know, you've, you've put all the hard work in with the planning, coming up with the content, um, inviting guests. Now you get to record. It's not as easy as it looks, but it certainly is a lot of fun. Uh, then the next thing you need to think about is editing. Now you might be great at speaking, you might be okay with mistakes and other noises and that's okay. Editing then is, is not necessarily required. If you want something that's a bit more professional, you may need to invest in some editing software. You may have a friend that's great at editing and there's lots of free editing tools out there as well that you can um, potentially get hold of if you think that you need to edit your podcast. Then you need to upload, you need to send it to a host. Now remember, you don't send directly to places like Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Podcasts. You need to actually upload to a host, so somebody like Buzzsprout, and then from there it gets sent to um, the podcast applications. You need to think also about marketing. How are you going to market your podcast? Are you going to market and talk about it pre-production, uh, pre-upload? Are you going to market after? I think you really need to be doing uh, all of those scenarios. So pre-production, um, after production, and uh, at, any, uh, at any chance that you have, you should be promoting your podcast. So thank you once again for joining me on the couch, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.